Oh my god. You just fell off the ladder. Here we go again. Got another solar install going on here. It's going to consist of end phase and power wall. Let me show you around. So we're using the end phase IQ8 H's, which are our newest microinverter. And on this face, we're going to have 10 panels. Over here, this is where our incoming supply is. So we're going to have our gateway mounted above here. And then we've got three power walls going in and they're going to be mounted over there. And then up on the main house roof, we've got panels on this face, this face, and the flip side of this face. So delivery's on its way, going to be a couple of minutes. Slight issue we've got is obviously the road is quite narrow. So when he pulls up, he's going to block the road. It's an 18 ton lorry, so it's going to be quite big. And obviously he's not going to get up here and it's shingle. So we're going to have a bit of trouble. So it's going to come with pallet trucks, so you're going to put it on the road. And we're going to have to try and drag it with a pallet truck on the shingle. Hopefully not make a mess. Or failing that, we're going to have to empty the Luton and do, use that as our little delivery run thing. So we'll see how it goes. He's got an idea, he's a man with a plan. So tight. It's under pressure because the camera's on. Doing well. They're going to be upset if he hits the grass though. Oh look, it's professional. What a geezer. I am so impressed. What an absolute hero. Little bag of brackets, because that's how you deliver brackets in a bag, apparently. Yeah, trying to renewable kit and you're using plastic for no real reason. More plastic for metal that can just sit in a box. Look, and a whole bag for that. Whole bag for a fuse. Try and do your bit for the planet, look, and everyone just shits on it. Example of never an easy job. Nice tiles, usually, nice little wiggle wiggle. You get a bit of wiggle and it sort of pops out. Whereas this roof, the builders or the roofers have used massive nails, hammered them right in, so the tiles are super tight. So there's sort of no wiggle room, which means they're not coming out very easy. So there's probably going to be some broken tiles. Which I have to replace, obviously. What happened to 10 o'clock? Oh, yeah, I don't know. Oh, if you're right to get a coffee, get a roll. Not even. Not even. Not even. See you over here soon then. Just a casual get to job for half eight, 20 to 11. That's our time. Nice. Here's our supply. Gate we need to go here. We've got quite a lot going on with this one because we've got end phase. So in this box here, we've got to get the supply out of here for our envoy for the end phase. And we've also got to get three supplies out of here for our microinverters because we've got three radials for those. We've also got to get three supplies out for the power walls and comms. So there's quite a lot going on here. But then the other problem we've got is, obviously the end phase are going to go up. We've got this in the way. So everything's going to come out the bottom of the gateway, run down long, so our power walls are going here. And we have to have a run up it's a lot of space for the, for the micros. Up on the roof, we've got our brackets going in. So they obviously screw into the rafter. So that'll rinse and repeat another three times. And that'll be the brackets. Source the tiles, that's good news. Apparently they're French ones. So they're not that actually that common around here. So this house builders obviously used them because they've got a good price on them. I'm just really small. It's a normal size spencer. I'm just writing a love note for you. Right, starting route two, Muck Muckums. Hi, right, Teeth. <laughs> We're going to get the, some tiles ready for you when you break them. Good no, afternoon, fans. It's your boy Al back again. Another piece of artwork. Just, just, just woke up, just got it. <laughs> About 12. Beyond, the Beyonce of the roof. We're still getting done. What's your oh, stage? Oh no. A little tidy up. Make a little bit of room. So, update is we've got the tiles to replace, ready for when Al breaks them. All the electrical bits and bobs that we now need for the job 
because we're going sort of up and over, so we wanted to measure out and pace it before we just turn it over the cable. So yeah, back to job. Away we go. So just got back to site after quite a long detour trying to find the right gear. But we're now back, the rails are all on and the brackets, got the microinverters, they're mounted and screwed up. So I was now just piecing in the, the tiles around the brackets and it'll be ready for panels. Basically what we've got is you've got all your roof hooks going. So you've got two fixings per hook. Obviously on the rafter, don't go to the batten. You'll sit the, the bottom of this hook on top of the tile. From there, it's just literally a case of getting this, on this system anyway, getting this rail in these hooks here, making sure they're located and then just clicking it in. Once you then do this, I can use this as a step up to get my next rail in. So obviously I'll run a measurement up. Once I've got my measurement, I know what tile to take out, follow the same pattern up on the brackets. Once we've done that, that's, that's pretty much it. We just then jump onto that one and do the next two up. Nice thing is now we've got spare tiles on site and kind of be a little bit more forceful with them because we know we can replace anything we do break. That one there is just broken. Once we get to a point where we're starting to tile back on the roof just so we can start panelling, that'll all get repaired and we'll put a new tile in. You've got this bit here interlinks with the other tile with this bit here. But they never quite sit 100% and they're just... Well, I say they don't sit 100%, they will, but it's just a lot of messing about because when you tile a roof, you tile from your bottom course from left to right. So you'd just be laying them down. You'd be butting them up as you go. Whereas we're taking out random tiles and then trying to get everything to fit back nicely again. It's just a lot of messing around. So it's just a lot more time consuming. So that's day one, pretty much done and dusted now. Doesn't look like much has gone on, but there's been a lot of like, the prep, I suppose. So tomorrow, We'll be flying. Welcome back, it's day two. So the plan for today is to finish off the mounting gear, get all the panels mounted, cable runs from A to B, power walls mounted, leaving hopefully just a return day to finish off the bird mesh and a little commission. On your marks. Yeah. Get there. Yeah? Yeah, I'm on. That's nice. First time. A couple of years ago, the customers, they had a bit of a flood through here. Not very high, but a little bit, so a little bit concerned. So what we've done is, because we're stacking out, we've got these rubber feet, so the power walls can just sit on those, it just brings them off the floor that little bit more. If I was a battery, that's, I'd be, I'd be one of one of them. <gasps> there she goes. <laughs> This little bit slides on the top. We've got a couple of little magnets here. That slides in. Oh look, we've got these super duper little things that are probably a tenner each. These cover the little caps. So cable run for the uh, uh, panels. Got end phase, so we're running 230 volt, which is nice. Um, so coming from the gateway, along here, low level. Gonna go up there, poke into the loft space, and then we're gonna run across to pick up the garage. We've got panels on this, the rear of the property as well. So we've got three cables going up, we've got two strings on the, the rear of the property, and another string that's gonna go across the loft. It's gonna go all the way along, drop down on this side, through this little trench here, under the slabs, into here. Then it'll pop up and poke out and connect up with these ones. Is that good? It's okay, but we've got the next ones go lower. Next course down. Slightly to the left and right. Don't go any more to the left. Yeah? Yeah, puck of that, bang on. Well, we've got our three strings, so two of which are on these faces here. So the cable's gonna come up in the corner down there, run across, we'll probably clip it nice and neat along this brace, find the way up to the top so we can poke out the third string. It's gonna go all the way along the back, just tuck it down out the way in the corner, and then poke out that the gable end over there, and then we're back outside and down to the garage. Hmm. Well, the dust coming out, aren't they? Yep. Yeah, lovely. Please don't yank it, because I need to try and feed it off at the same time. That's right, just feed it up. There's a sat nice warm office. Can't get my bum crack. Cool like an Egyptian. Pulley, pulley. This is our graph, this. Oh my god. You just fall off the ladder or something? Huh? You just fall off the ladder. 
loads of it. Don't mind. It's all good. Black ladybirds, you know what, eh? Yeah, keep feeding. I'm hungry. A little bit more. Once this is in, we'll be flying. There's a little bit more if you want it. No, we're good. We're flying. <laughs> So what we're doing here, customers sort of kindly run us a network point out of here. So this is existing, this is the customers. So he's run this extra Cat6 in for us. We're gonna be hardwired in, so it'll be a better connection to the network. A little fold on the end, look, so we've got a nice round bit so it pushes through, don't get snagged on them little corrugated bits. It doesn't look amazing, but it's one of those things of how do you make it look nice? So we've sort of done the best we can with it. It's here, it's out of the way. Everything else is already copex for what the other guys have done for their heat pump and supply to their little outhouse. So if we try to keep it the same, obviously we've got quite a lot more to go to one little box. That'll do, lovely. So when I'm stripping these, I always strip it a little bit longer than what I need to. I hope it's gonna go first time. Well look, lovely. Now, because I've left it longer, okay, it means I've got a little bit more unraveling to do but it makes it a lot easier to make them flat. They should glide in a bit easier. So I got my cores all unraveled. I've sort of pulled them so they're nice and straight. Now, the customer did just ask me what standard I'm doing it to. If I'm honest, I don't know what standard it's called. I just know the colors. So I know that I go orange, white, orange, orange. I go green, white, blue. This is a bit where I get cramp in my hands. Blue, white, green. Brown, white, brown. So as I sort of arrange them, I sort of put them a little bit. So I keep going straight. Give them a little bit of this, little bit of that. So I'm just double checking again. Orange, white, orange, green, white, blue, blue, white, green, brown, white, brown. So once they're like that, nice and square. I want to make sure that edge is flat. Now I want the little prongy bit on the bottom as I slide them in. So make sure they sort of slide in. Ooh, little wiggle. Oh look, like that. Now when I push them in, I want to make sure the outer sheath is past this little clamp, which it is, so happy days. One, I always do a couple of good measure. And there she is, plugged. Here's nine things we love about Enphase. Safer. In the event of a fault, the microinverters have a rapid shutdown feature. You can install panels on the same string or radial on multiple faces. Because they work on a panel by panel level, it means we can pinpoint any faults, saving any callouts. Higher efficiencies and the effects of shade on certain panels won't affect the rest. Future proof your system. In the event that a panel was to be faulty in say 10, 12 years time, not that it would, you can mix and match panels with the end phase microinverters. Because there isn't a central inverter, there is no single point of failure. Microinverters convert DC to AC at the panel, making cable routes easier and safer. 25 year warranty. You're not governed by a central inverter, so you can easily expand and add on to your system. And a bonus for us, it's easy to install and commission. So if you look at all of our panels, all barcodes, always at the top. That is. <laughs> panel panels, look at that, what up? My work here is done. <laughs> oh, I will cry about that. <laughs> So another job sort of finished. We've got 32 panels, each of Enphase microinverters, the IQ8, so that's the new ones, high power ones. We've got three Tesla Powerwall 2s. If you're interested in getting a system like this, there'll be a link in the comment section below. Get in touch.